hello guys thank you again for coming this platform and today we are going to uh, do some time series analysis on the data and data is called a temperature data here we will see the data we, we will get a uh, city data for it's uh, almost five to six years and uh, the daily maximum minimum and the average time temperature of that city and the timing of the sunrise and sunset based on this data we will do time series analysis we will do our ada we will do beautiful visualization of the data and last we will analyze our arima and sarima model and do prediction for the next 30 days so let's start in the first code uh, we will import all the diaries which we need we need pandas numpy matplotlib and c1 in a second line i will import the data as i have saved this data on this path so you can also uh, see your path where you have saved this file and uh, let's see the data head so you can see we have six columns date minimum temperature of that city maximum temperature of that day average temperature and sunrise time and a sunset time let's see some information of the data now so i can see the i'm um, i can see the data length is 1825 and uh, data type is data is object uh, which should not be actually we have to change that and the all other data is a float that is expected and sunrise and sunset is in danger i can assume some uh, uh, so first we have to change the date which is object is not a solution right so let did the change and we will change this to pd to date time now command and after changing the data, I can see I have changed the uh, data type for the date. It's a date time now, right? Now let's see the null values in the data. So if I check, I can see four null values in each columns, minimum, maximum, and average. So data is almost 1825 rows. So four lines doesn't matter. So it's always good to drop that and age. So I have dropped that and is now so we can see data is cleaned if I check the data head now so that remains same now just to analyze right uh, if in case we need the uh, year and month or day separate so I have written that code how we can add year month columns here so I have just added and I, I do the data head again so you can see now the year columns here and month columns here right it's a simple dot dt dot year or dt or dot month or dt dot day you can add t columns also now I'm defining a, a chart where I will do my data x and y and year and it's a very simple code you can see fixed size the 20 and 10 and I will do a SNS because we have already uh, plotted the C1. It's a line chart simply. And I will do so now. So I've defined that chart. And def because why I'm defining, I can uh, create a simple chart also, right? I'm defining this because on a simple command, I can draw multiple charts. I will show you how this is beneficial now, right? See because i have defined plot dot was okay i have not done that code that's why now let's see plot dot was so you can see i am just want to see the my date and the average temperature year wise so i can see i have one two three four five years start from the 2014 to 18 colored wise right if i just want to see my minimum temperature 
Yes, I have to change the minimum here. That all defined, we have already defined that plot dot bars, that code will run again, right? This is the benefit here. If I want to see the maximum temperature, I can easily see in which year, what was the maximum, right? If I went to see the sunrise and sunset, just for your information, I can see. I can simply see sunrise, you know, in a 17, the sunrise was almost 7, 7, 7, 7, almost in a year, right? If I went to the sunset, so you can see the sunset timing is 19, 19 means 7 p.m., right? Okay. Now I'm defining another plot change just to see the monthly chart. If the figure will remain the same, right? Let me define this. Now I will see this everything is monthly. Okay. Why I'm seeing monthly now? Because you can see month on month i can compare year on years if i simply see this top of the port red right this is showing on the top it's almost 52 52 nearby right this is red red means 17 so i can see the every temperature were high in 2017 only right a lower i then see below below is a 14 so i can see in the 2014, lower average temperature was almost 40, 38 almost, right? In the same manner, we can see minimum temperature. It's always a good uh, way if you want to see the whole data on one paragraph, right? It's a beautiful chart and you can compare everything. You can see the maximum temperature when it was maximum actually. Uh, so I can see 17 is almost high, right? This was uh, almost uh, 63, you can see 61 almost, right? If I want to see the sunrise time, sunrise time, right? I can see the below is a uh, six month, six month almost going, sunrise is going to below, right? If I see sunset time, this will go just opposite of the sunset, right? In the sixth month, because of the winter and summer, you can see the timing getting changing almost every year. Now I want to see, I will show you uh, something to visualize. How can I see the relationship with the operator? It's, it's like a correlation, right? But I just want to define a formula here, uh, or define a real temperature on a map here and I will see the uh, relationship between the average temperature and sunset how they are related I will see they are not related right you can see in the year wise it's not hardly related you can see average temperature on a x column and a y column on sunset if in the same column I show you the correlation of the each columns so here also you can see average temperature on the sunset it's a 0.30, it's a hardly, it's not even a 50%, right? It's a hardly correlated with each other. Okay, now let's generate our Orima model. This is not something which we should do actually. So let me delete this. Now what I am doing, I am just, uh, I am using the data and now I'm, I don't want to change anything to my original data, I just want to end data, new data. I am converting that data to new data and uh, let's see the head. So I have the same data now, end data, I just created the end data so my original data will not change. Why? Because I have to do multiple changes while doing the Arima model, right? Now, we have to do Arima model, one, but before going to Arima, you have to analyze one thing. This is multi-correlate problem, right? We cannot apply time series with the same approach with the six columns. Here we have date, right? This is acceptable. 
but on a which column you will apply time series minimum temperature maximum average sunrise sunset year or month just just quick think guys which columns you will choose to do your arima model okay let me answer we will choose yeah right, we are right we will choose average temperature so i will delete every column which i don't need actually and i will keep only the columns date and average temperature so that same i am doing here i am deleting minimum maximum sunrise sunset year and month so let delete this and now let okay now let i don't need the index column also right so i will i will change that index to my date so let's do this also if now i see the head of my data i can see only two columns date and average temperature hopefully you got this right there is no confusion this is some simple idea which we do now on almost every data right now let see how our plot look like if i see only the average temperatures this is almost same which we have seen the earlier also so this is not a matter now the important thing is now we have to uh, apply the arima model right so before arima model applying we have to do the red fuller testing so now let's do red fuller testing now we will import at fuller from the state models dot tsa state tools and we will print the adap value number of lags number of observations and critical value let apply this code so i can see my adap is minus 6 p value is 8 number of lags is 12 number of observations used in 1808 and critical value 1 percent is minus 3 5 percent is minus 2 and 10 percent is minus to almost the same now let me apply my auto arima and from pmd arima import auto arima and i will apply that auto arima to my new data in data average data and average temperature column so this code is running actually and this will apply the arima this will take some time now see the beauty of the model you can see this is performing step by step to minimize the AIC, right? You can see now the AIC column is reducing. It's a eight, three, four, four, two. See, it's reducing now. And at the end, we will get the best Arima model, which we have to apply. Let's wait. Let's wait. It's running. It's running. Let's keep the name and this this is doing all the calculation all the algorithm behind the scene right we cannot see this actually but this is the beauty of the python okay it's, it's still the name You can see the last column also i can see the time also how much times it is taking to run the each arima okay the best model h for this is 105 and total time is taken 78 seconds right okay so after arima led to the sm it's the arima same way i i have imported okay before sarima i have to uh, divide our data because my data was in 1862 lines remember so i have to divide the uh, data into train and test so i'm taking the 30 lines below as a test and i'm taking the above 30 lines it's a train so if i run this and see the shapes so i can see the total shape is 1820 and out of 1821 i have uh, the uh, given 1791 data to a train and 30 
data as a test you can choose anything i i take more the more data as a train right now i apply i just want to apply this uh, i just want to uh, create my model so you can see i'm just generating the model from the my cinema sm which i have imported from the state model and I, i'm applying that uh, model on the train data actually you can see train data actually right and i'm taking the order of the same 105 which was given by the by best model Mm, from arima 105 right so let's run our model now model fit and see the model summary so you can see we have received our model it's a 105 average but date time stamp how much number of observation which we have selected as a train right what is aic bic and hqic i believe if you are facing any type of issue to read that model and to understand that model arima and sarima follow my another uh, video of the time series where i have beautifully explained a ppt how to read this uh, end result actually right this is a long term so i cannot explain here okay after sarima what i have to do i have to train my data so you can see before train and test i have to predict my model now so if i take the start lane train so what was the lane of the train that was 1791 and what was the uh, lane of the test it was 30 right so it will start from the 1791 and it will end to 30 minus 1 means 29 I will predict it's a model prediction start from the start and from the start types a label rename is arima predictions i just uh, changed the index of the prediction from the my start and end date and if i run this prediction so you can see this start from the uh, first december 2018 to the last is 30 december and data type is followed if i just want to see my prediction versus my actual result so you can see my prediction is flowing like a blue line and my actual test result is that orange flow which we have selected as a 30 remember we have divided our data into train and test this is test data for below 30 lines and this is my prediction which is showing is it matching right you can see my arima prediction is much better than the average because average is not a stationary it's moving up and down so much fractions but my arima is giving a straight line see the another now move to to increase the quality if i see see what is my average of the mean this mean this this data if i want to see the average then you will see <clears throat> you will notice one thing by arima is also uh, near by the average of the uh, this mid line of the average right if i want to average let's see my average should be 45 see this is almost starting from the 45 okay so now let's see what is my minus part and square right I have to import that from the scale learn matrix uh, math also to the result. If I calculate my RMSE, my RMSE is 3. Right, it's a simple square that for the uh, main squared error prediction, and I will say it's a test of the average data 30 lines. Okay, now to increase the now uh, you can see the quality of the data because now you can you have already seen what i have done i have uh, done the prediction against the test now let to the prediction for the whole data so i'm just starting by model 2 here and model 2 will start from the whole data now not train data earlier i did it for the train data and i have checked my result on the test data right now let to the prediction for the whole data if I do this,
okay it's running and now take the future date let's assume um, i want to predict the uh, average temperature starting from the 30s uh, december 18 to uh, 29 january 19 right so let's take the range of this data dates and now i'm just filling these dates to my prediction and my prediction will start from the land data this is uh, uh, the same formula which we have done earlier we will take the total line of the data that's the 1862 i believe and end data is also plus 30 plus 30 days which we have taken here levels will remain the types and they rename the arima prediction now do the prediction now these are the numbers which are coming h per hour prediction if i want to see this numbers as a beautiful graph so i can see this graph this is the arima prediction for the next 30 days next 30 days from day wise this is day wise you can see right so day wise the average temperature will come down 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 and this is for first second third and almost from third gen this will start increasing right and the maximum on the 29 gen this will touch almost 45 45.3 right so we have done successfully a prediction so guys thank you thank you so much i will uh, uh, upload this work, all working with the data set and you can easily download this thank you thank you so much if you like this so i i would expect a simple uh, support from you to love this channel and spread to your friends thank you so much